Hey everybody, it's Bruno and welcome to MB. Click on the subscribe button below here and you'll never miss an episode. And also you can follow us on LinkedIn and on Facebook on Megapix Media. Enjoy the episode. That's right. Tell us why video is so important to a company's advertising these days anyways. These days, I mean, you know, in all time, right? We used to remember when television had three or four channels to choose from. Right? I don't. Maybe you do. Uh, no, I do remember. Actually, I'm older than you. Where I, I used to live. Yeah. Okay, I was in the country, folks. So I have an excuse. We didn't even have cable, but we had about mm -hmm. three or four channels to choose from. And... Uh, and you know that's what we had and the tv was the big medium right well look today what do we have a thousand channels pvr skip the commercials right advertising gone so what happens people are looking for other solutions right video is powerful people know we need it it used to be very uh problematic to create videos very expensive people didn't even know how to do it now you can do it on a mobile phone you can do it and we have a platform actually a video ad builder uh, that people can create videos so simply just in 15 20 minutes a professional video something that you would literally spend thousands and i'm not talking in the past today if you went to a media house and said make me this kind of a video a whiteboard video you know where the hands drawing mm -hmm. quickly you would spend thousands of dollars you can have that video right now for 29 dollars perpetual you own it you can run it at trade shows um it's a high definition video and of course uploaded to the video page boom it's on youtube facebook twitter no other effort and soon coming linkedin and instagram so oh, right on <laughs> very sure. powerful look right now um i mean just speaking here in canada uh, in the states it's nothing no different you go out and you hire a professional videographer for you know come out for a couple hours on location film in your environment it's typically thousands of dollars. I know our lead competitor here in Canada, they run a big old style phone book. I won't mention the name, but I'm sure you can put the pieces together. <laughs> yeah. They're charging five to $6,000 for a video shoot, okay? To prepare that video, put it together um, uh, for the customer. Now they need to host it. They need to you know, add it into their environment. How are we gonna promote that video? But you know, five, six thousand dollars typically to create a you know a professional video. We have a network of ten thousand videographers. We could come on location and film that video for thirteen hundred and ninety-nine dollars in Canada, United States nine ninety-nine. So, one-time cost to make a professional-looking video, right? And so that's an option. But if people you know want to uh, not go that route, save their money, perhaps more frugal way of doing it through our mobile app. They can create a video for free, right? Just put it together. Uh, great for real estate, promoting any kind of business, really. Mm -hmm. The dish of the day, you know, you're a you're a, a kitchen and you're running the dish of the day. Why not film the chef, you know, sh showing what he's preparing for the week? And you know, that video is up onto YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. People are looking up. And guess who owns YouTube? Right. Google owns YouTube, right? So right. what do they do? Reserve the top spots and placement for keyword searches, giving it to video, right? Mm -hmm. Being that they own YouTube. So now you're a business owner, how am I gonna get found? Well, create little videos. Do it simple, do it cost effective, and uh, people are searching on Google. You know, they're typing up about restaurants in whatever given city. Suddenly, boop, hey, what is this? The dish of the day. Oh, that looks like a good dish. How many times did you ever see a plate of food where it pulled you in just by right. looking at the image, right? right? Imagine right. video. So, you know, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, video is worth a million, right? So it's a, it's a powerful medium, very powerful. So how can you scale it? Basically do simple videos, uh, cost effective, get more video content as opposed to one big long video, have more short videos. Uh, get them posted through video pages, a great way to save time, there right, for business plug, owners, right, like. save time, and let the videos get out there. I mean, do you know anybody that's searching on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter these days, or Instagram, mm -hmm. or, right? I mean, there you go. Top challenge, being an entrepreneur, because you started this a little while back, and... Never give up. It's never give up. Never give up. So, have... Walk us through a few people that tried to discourage you. Oh, 
<laughs> the naysayers. You mean the... Yeah, it's something that you know. There's not many, maybe not the name, but uh, there's not many of them. But they move around a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know them when they come in the room and the lights are flickering and getting dimmer. Yeah, basically, uh, there's always going to be naysayers out there, people putting things down, and that won't work. And you know what? You look at the story of Disney, right? How many banks? How many people did he approach? And they said, putting what? An entertainment with the. Uh, rides and all this stuff in the middle of a desert are you crazy right mm -hmm. look at george lucas how many times was he rejected for his film star wars or star uh, what do you call it? i don't even star know wars. star wars thank you the hairy monkey you know and, uh, right yeah. rejected and finally he funded it himself and once he did it guess what the phone was ringing off the hook everyone wanted in but too late right they missed the opportunity so there's always going to be people out there doubting something and uh, you just keep moving along. We were fortunate. We raised uh, over a million dollars uh, very quickly just through our, our local uh, Ottawa customer base, um, which was kind of surprising for us. It wasn't even planned. So everybody kept saying, how do we invest? How do we get involved? We said, well, you just sign up. No, 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 not for the platform. We'll sign for the platform. How do we invest? So. Right. We were lucky that way, and since then, it's been you know millions of dollars into investment to put everything together. Not always an easy road, but uh, you know you stay focused, stay the core, and you know um, doors start opening. You know, so the main idea is don't let the naysayers or don't let the doubters distract what you're doing, because if you have a vision of something, you go for it mm -hmm. right until it's done. And the people that that are you know, they, they'll see the value in it. They're, they're going to show up. You know? Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, if you want someone you know to be our next guest, simple. Click below in the description and we'll get in touch with them. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and you'll never, ever miss another episode.